Chewies! <laughs> this is Psychic Bob. It is so awesome to be with you. Well, guess what? It's Wiccan Wednesday, and Psychic Bob had to get his witch on. Check it out. I brought out my broom like that. I'm going to fly across the sky tonight. And I also got on my pentacle shawl. Check this out. So I got big pentacles down it. Isn't that cool? On both sides, too. And, of course, I got my trusty witch hat. I don't know if you guys seen this hat before. This is an older hat of mine. But I got my witch hat on. This one's a little different, but I thought you'd like it. If you look at it, it's really cool. It's got a witch flying on her broom. It's got stars. I love it. It's a, it's a classic. Well, I'm so glad you're here. And you guys are just wonderful. I want to say thank you to all of you who came out to yesterday's video. Excuse me, I'm having a lot of allergies today. <clears throat> Yesterday, <clears throat> excuse me, we had messages from the spirit world. If you didn't see that, definitely check that out, okay? It's the video in the queue right before this one. All right, well, you know today's Wicked Wednesday. And I said we'd continue with a reading from my book. For those of you who don't know, this is my latest book out. It's called Psychic Bob's Book of Wiccan Wisdom. And this is kind of my overview, my thoughts of things I've learned over the last 20 years in the craft. So today, <clears throat> I thought we'd do a reading called The Born Again Pagan. And it's from this chapter. And this is a picture here of an Easter egg that I did. It's uh, made of cut glass, like cut crystal, and it's sitting in a little holder, and it's under the full moon here. You can see the full moon. That's one of my artworks in this book. And uh, the title is just simply called Crystal Egg. You like that? Isn't that neat? Can you imagine an egg of cut crystal? How beautiful that would be. Well, you'll learn more about that as we go along. Okay, so, I'm going to read this chapter to you. <clears throat> it's called, oops, hold on. Second Bob got put on his glasses. He's getting old. <laughs> the Born Again Pagan. Every Ostara slash Easter, I love to contemplate the symbol of the egg. I can't help but chuckle at my devout Christian friends who decorate their homes with Easter eggs. <clears throat> they, who are always first to condemn pagan ways, never realize where their egg symbol comes from. I have a bumper sticker that says Born Again Pagan on it. In fact, let me show you. I got that actually right here. <laughs> Check that out. Born Again Pagan. <clears throat> I have a bumper sticker that says Born Again Pagan on it. When I first bought it, uh, I got it as a reaction to recent attacks I had received by fundamentalist Christians. I was tired of being told that I was hellbound and that I was a heathen and that I was living a life of sin by practicing the craft. I thought if one more fundy shows up and says, are you born again? Then I could honestly answer them yes and proudly display my sticker. What is interesting, though, as I contemplated the meaning of this term, born again, I found truth in it. Since coming to the craft, I have been born again. I have become a child of the goddess and the god. I know my mother Gaia and that I truly come from her. I have found new life in attuning to the natural world. Instead of having dominion, in quotes, over it as some churches would have me do. I have le learned to forgive my persecutors. In place of fear-based, loud street preaching, I have learned the power of silence. I have also discovered reincarnation and see the double entendre in literally being born again by entering this life. 
It makes sense to me that our spirits may need many lifetimes to experience all that the soul can grasp. If we look at the natural world, reincarnation is also a natural process. After a forest fire, the forest and the scorched land are reborn and growth begins again. I have finally, finally come around to agreeing with my Christian neighbors and saying, yes, we should all be born again. There you go. And there's my egg of new birth under the full moon. Let's see if you can see that. So there you go. You know, if you enjoy this, you need to pick this up over at my website. You can get this book at robert-hickman.com. <clears throat> But there you go. There's my sticker. And if you want to get one of these stickers, you can pick this up over at Lady Angela's site at rarewickaspells.com. So as I was saying, yes, yeah, you can be born again. So don't let people force you into seeing the world their way. You know, as a Wiccan, we're called not just to regurgitate, regurgitate dogma. Craft doesn't really have dogma. It has openness to thought. We don't tell you what the truth is. We simply share with you some of our experiences. And when we study the writings of the ancients, we come to understand that the truth of the goddess, the truth of the God, the truth of pagan spirituality really ran deep in the ancient world. And that spirit still runs deep today. So I encourage you, you know, get out, especially now that it's autumn. Study the trees, study the falling leaves. Come to discover the magic of this season. Discover your place in the world. And if you do that, you'll be born again too. Guys, thanks for being here. I hope you'll keep it here at Spirit Channel. I just want to bring those thoughts to you today. And again, if you want to get this book, Psychic Bob's Book of Wiccan Wisdom, it's over at my website. And uh, it's got a lot of stuff in it. We're going to have more readings from it in the future. But I'm sure glad you're here today. I, listen, I hope you'll support my channel. I hope you'll like this video, favor it, share it with your friends. Let's get the word out about Spirit Channel. And uh, if you can, hit subscribe. Be part of our scene. You guys rock. I love you. Sending blessings to all of you. Keep it here. Tomorrow's Thursday. That means Zodiac Thursday. You don't want to miss it. Blessed be.